It's a big one for the Cavs, too. We're less than 24 hours away now from the showdown in South Bend. The undefeated Hoos will take on number 10 ranked Notre Dame. All right, 10 Sports anchor Lindsey Ward, 10 Sports director John Apicello are live there in Indiana. Yeah, and this is huge because this is UVA's first time in South Bend. Yeah, it's a little bit quieter here than where Brooke is. We just listened to her. Yeah. Um, and we moved inside because it is storming here in South Bend. Yeah, we're in the monogram room, okay? So this is basically a hall of honor for all athletes, and we're thankful it's here because yeah. it is not <laughs> nice outside. outside. We know Notre, Notre Dame's program oozes history and tradition. It's all around us in this room and everywhere else on this campus. And for UVA, coming here for the very first time, it's very important they don't get over overwhelmed. Its campus landmarks are unmistakable. Its history well documented. If college football's nation declared a capital, Notre Dame would most certainly be a favorite. The university sports the house that Rockne built. Notre Dame has long stood for academic and athletic excellence and Virginia's first trip to what amounts to sacred ground for college football fans is not lost on the Cavaliers. I think anyone who's a big uh, football, college football, sports fan knows about Notre Dame football and their history and their success, and you know just like the you know the touchdown Jesus they have there and all that stuff. So there's a lot of history that goes into that, and it's uh, going to be an exciting uh, challenge for us as a team. I'm excited to go and play there. Um, you know, obviously when you're a kid and you 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 hear about Notre Dame and the tradition, it's it's like you know hard to to get past them, and you know how great they've been. And so I think uh, it's just going to kind of be like like living a, a child dream. Um, I heard that's a great place to play and uh, another historic team that has you know, such a great history. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Um, I know the atmosphere is going to be great, and they're a great team this year. So. And it's 10 versus 18 coming up tomorrow. And, of course, we'll have more on the X's and O's coming up at 6. Yeah, and it, this isn't just a, a game that's exciting sports fans who want to see a good matchup. Really, it's dividing families. So we caught up with Micah Whiteneck and his three kids who are from Roanoke. And uh, Micah is a Fighting Irish fan. The children all pull for UVA. So he played a little game on them. He uh, threw them in the car. He told them about <laughs> a week ago that they were going to go on a road trip. And he didn't exactly say where they were going. So Thursday morning, he uh, loaded them up in the car. They had to guess where they were off to. I always wanted to come to South Bend, so I bought tickets and threw the kids in the car. They had no idea where we were going. And uh, I said, it's a game. Y'all figure it out. Let me know when you figure it out. So uh, then we ended up, and we ended up in Indiana. So it took a while for them to figure out their destination. At one point, they were guessing they were headed to Michigan to see an uncle. Then they thought maybe they were going to Chicago. But, of course, they ended up here in South Bend. And coming up tonight on 10 News at 6, we'll explain to you why Micah was so emotional and wanted to take this trip in the first place. It's a, it's a pretty good story. So we'll just leave you with that tease as to why he, he wanted to come here so badly. It was great we ran into them. Mm -hmm. And we'd all like you to run into us tomorrow <laughs> at 2.30 because we have a full hour preview showdown in South Bend. We've got features. We've got great stories. We'll take a look at Notre Dame and, of course, break this thing down. So for now, uh, live from South Bend, she's Lindsay Ward. I'm John Apicello. <laughs>